Hello, welcome to the last edition of Joy News Interactive for this week with me, Mapita Sibiri. It's been awesome having you for company. So let's wrap up in style, shall we? We are live from digital address GA0992539 here in Kakomemle, Accra. We're also in DSTV channel 421 and Go TV channel 144. On WhatsApp, it's 055-815-7074. So send those messages through and we'll read them to our viewers. You can also join the conversation on Facebook and Twitter we are Joy News on TV. So you wanted to hear the president speak, and he has. Last week, at the height of the furore triggered by the U.S.-Ghana military cooperation agreement, a good friend of mine came to caution me on what he called the hazards of this democracy thing. He told me, just in case I needed reminding, that my predecessor as president, who had also been democratically elected, had chosen to avoid any possible controversy by signing and keeping secret some agreements. So why did I not follow this precedent? Instead of exposing the nation to all the hazards of the past few days. My friend, no doubt, had a good point. Indeed, I acknowledge that there are many very well-meaning citizens who would have preferred the peaceful process of arguments reached behind closed doors to the furore of the past few days. Yet far from being daunted, I take what has happened not to be symptomatic of the hazards of democracy, but of a show of the strength of democracy in action. We're seeing being displayed before our very eyes, not the triumph of disorder, but the value of openness in governance and of the need, the crucial need, for the people to be fully and accurately informed. Submitting this agreement to open scrutiny now allows us to clear the unhealthy fog that has clouded our relations with the United States of America. The conduct of Ghana's foreign policy and its relations with the nations of the world has happily been traditionally above the partitions of partisan politics. Allowing for the normal differences of approach which will sometimes occur, our foreign policy has been consistently bipartisan, and no successor government has found the need to tamper with any agreement of a non-commercial nature. But not everyone is happy with the delivery. Some people think he was arrogant and he didn't really seek the interest of the populace. But what do you think? So we're going to go to Facebook. But because it's Friday, I'm going to open the phone lines. You can call us on 0302-211-691 or you can call us on 0302-211-692. Instead of calling us on our WhatsApp line, you can call us on the phone lines because WhatsApp message yeah get on okay but let's go to facebook now where frank Kwesi says anyone who has listened to the speech and still wants to kick against it can't understand simple english or it's just plain stupid frank Kwesi got 28 replies let's see if we can get a few of those replies so replying to frank Kwesi is kofi kwe who says anyone who will just listen to the speech and not ask of the details of the deal is just plain dot 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 and then frank question comes to say Quefika, you're one of the people i just described earlier okay so let's see uh these are some so kofi and frank are just you know having a conversation there on facebook and let's see if we can get interesting comments on that and on facebook we're drawing is on tv on Twitter, we also join you on TV. So send those comments through. Let's go to Ben Haven, who says, Our president, please cancel the U.S. agreement for the country to be calm. He started with good implement, implement, but why the evil U.S. deal with, which is likely to create enmity even within your fan base? Don't exhibit some mistakes or... And Junior, 
Gong says, selling Ghana out today because he thought life was all about English. Call yourself own hypocrisy. All right. So let's see if we can get more comments. On. So we're going to take our first caller on the line, which is Alu Mahama from Mwa. Hi, Alu. Okay, it seems like we've lost him. So let's go back to Facebook where Abbas says, I understood his point of view concerning the matter, but I'm disappointed he turned an address to the nation into an opposition bashing. He should have uh, stuck to talking to all Ghanaians as one people and forget about what the other camp does An opposition party always opposes an incumbent government. He is the president of Ghana, not an opposition leader. And we're going to go to Bruce Chidi, who says, Cyril Kola's speech, hmm, if everything is right in the agreement, let them come and we will all be watching. No need to fight over this. And Ofria Ya says, Trump always puts America first to the extent of calling Africa's dot, dot, dot. But Nana has neglected us and calling us anti-Americans? I think he's made the issue quite worse. I still don't get it. He must consider Ghana first. Or is he now working for America? Anti-Americans? Seriously? So let's go back to the phone lines. Alu Mahama from Wa is back with us. Hello, Alu. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, um, I just also want to express my opinion on uh, what the president said. And look at things. I didn't see anything wrong the president said, except that um, the president was uh, a bit serious and then you know, as a human being, he's equally human being, and then, uh, and the way people tag him as selling Ghana, his opponents as selling Ghana for $20 million was, uh, you know, something uh, that he couldn't uh, understand. And that was why he spoke the way he spoke. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, the president, we all know, is a good fighter for the rights, and then a man who championed democracy for, in fact, uh, uh, times past, and then has suffered for it, and... Today he's become president and then will sell Ghana for $20 million. And I want to tell the U.S. and then uh, uh, other uh, uh, citizens that U.S. citizens doesn't need to come to Ghana before they can be able to do anything, uh, anything dangerous to Ghana. They can sit in America and then do anything dangerous to Ghana. So the mere fact that their students will come to Ghana doesn't warrant that their students will come and just misbehave and do anything. So those people saying that they can come and cut off people's heads and go back without anybody saying anything. It is just mere propaganda. So the issue is that the education hasn't gone down correct. Uh, propaganda has taken the center stage before the government is able to explain to people. So people hearing uh, the propaganda and taking into consideration the mm -hmm. propaganda, then the true information is being rejected and then the propaganda is now manifesting its way. So mm -hmm. we are going to explain and then take our time to explain to citizens to understand that these people coming here are not for any bad fit. They are coming, in fact, for a good fit. Thank you very much. Thank you, Alu Mahama. Let's go to WhatsApp. And this one says, America first, Ghana last. And uh, uh, what is it in for us for Ghana? And it, what is against uh, us? This speaking grammar. Okay. And this one is from... Okay, he doesn't give us a name, but he says, The day the first Boko Haram members will denotate a bomb on one of our public buses, we will all know how anti-Americans we are. Politicians. Hmm. And this is from Valanyan Akotia who says, Finally, the president has cleared the air, but, the, but uh, the propagandists are still throwing dust in the eyes of the open-minded citizens. I'm very glad that he has exposed the lies of some people in the country. It's now clear that there's no U.S. military base. Neither is he selling our beloved country, Ghana. God bless our president. God bless Ghana. So that is from Balanyo in Akotea. All right, let's go to Emmanuel Mensah who says, if you follow your heart with politicians, you will definitely die. All politicians are corrupt. And Nana was not in a good mood. That's from Emmanuel Mensah. And let's go to Dan Soman with Frank on the line. Hi, Frank. Hello, Frank. Yeah. Hello. Hello, Frank. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Good morning, Frank. Yeah, the submission the president made was... Yeah. yeah can you hear me, please? I can hear you, Frank. Continue. Yeah. I'm saying the submission the president made was... 
the, it was based on the premise that uh, uh, you, hello. I can hear you loud and clear. Don't worry about it. It's loud and clear. I can hear you. Hello, Hello. Fra yes, Frank. I can hear you. It seems like we've lost Frank there. But let's continue with WhatsApp from Dan, who says, from Mandela City, who says, the president has missed opportunity to rally the nation between him. Unfortunately, what some of us have seen as anger and arrogance. And this one is from Gabby, who says, um, I th okay, uh, I think, okay, well, okay, let's not take Gabby's comment on that. And Michael Amening says, President Akufuado's speech was perfect and he has exposed the propaganda, the mischief and the hypocrisy by the NDC. And he says, President Akufuado assurance to Ghanaians is refreshing and shows how the NPP government will not sell the sovereignty of Ghana. And let's go to Ibrahim Mohammed who says, Please, we want Mr. President to mention some benefits we get from the agreement before our anger comes down. So keep on sending your WhatsApp messages and on Facebook and Twitter, we are Joy News on TV. And this Facebook, uh, this WhatsApp message says, Our president did not speak the truth. No friend of his went to tell him anything. All right. And that is from, okay, he didn't mention his name then. But let's go to Facebook where Christopher Nathan says, the president can never say otherwise because the deal has already been ratified by no other body than the parliament of the nation. And Ghanaians must reason through this agreement. So those are some of your Facebook comments there. And then Green says, uh, the man has said it all. He has also thought the, st uh, thought the stomach frontline politician what they don't want. No, as they thought they were, and as well knew, and because we GH citizens are uncivilized. And let's go to Dalzen, who says his speech was nothing but an embarrassment to Ghanaians. And uh, how can the commander in chief of our armed forces say our military enter into the countries was just an ID card and peacekeeping? Aba. So keep on calling the number and uh, brave. Um, says we spoke sense let's agree with him because the past governments were in agreement with the u.s which didn't come to public because we heard of theirs doesn't mean others don't do horrible things so let's let's go back to the phone lines gentlemen uh frank is there hi frank we lost you earlier okay thank you very much for uh, having me back on the line yeah i was making a submission to the fact that uh if uh, uh the former president or the former administration, in this case, NDC administration, they had their uh, 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 chair of this, and they didn't bring it to parliament. And now we've gotten a president who thinks much more about uh, his citizens, and they brought it to parliament. He went ahead to leak the uh, uh, documents, and having leaked it, now you come to say that uh, what the president uh, is doing, or what he uh, appended his signature to the document is very bad. I'm saying to them that the hypocrisy and the co is becoming too much of them. At least you have forgotten the uh, agriculture. You have forgotten the hindsight or you've forgotten the uh, benefits of the doubt of being in power before. So you know what it takes to uh, sign that agreement. So what I was expecting or what I am expecting them to do is that, oh, we have two, three portions on the document which uh, isn't good for Ghanaians. And for that reason, maybe we should have a second look at it. But then if you go ahead to say that uh, uh, the mere fact of U.S. soldiers coming to Ghana would be uh, something, I don't want to uh, go to the stream, but the mere fact of U.S. Americans coming to Ghana is bad and that that will attract uh, uh, Al-Shabaab and so forth and so on. I quite disagree with them and that is my All right. Thank you so much, Frank. And you can keep on calling the, uh, the phone lines on 0302 instead of calling the WhatsApp line because unfortunately I can't answer that. But if you call the phone lines 0302 then I can get your contributions. But let's go back to Facebook where Paula Mo says, Nana, if you can forget the useless opposition 
and concentrate on doing your good work, believe me that you will achieve your aim for this country. And Kofi Santiago says, yes, we're away, but we'll never allow you to wallow in the largest of hashtag base camp and it's penny you, Mr. President. Hence, your harsh response. So let's do some WhatsApp messages now. And this one says, please, President Nana is misleading Ghanaian. Ghanaian's about U.S. agreements. He should tell us the truth because Ghana does not belong to him and his family. And this is from Baba Alhaji, testing from Germany. And let's go to this one who says, from do good, Sunyani the president, annoyed of who? Is he for Ghana or America? Why is he enjoying our taxes? And this one says, Why was the president so bitter? At a point he forgot he was speaking to the nation and in out not achieving what he wanted to do. He should come again. And let's go to this one. Um, okay, so this one says, we really appreciate all the comments that come. We really do. Unfortunately, sometimes you can't read all the comments, but we really appreciate it. So keep them coming through. And this one says, what's the president trying to tell us? Does he know America very well? Hmm. Are we Ghanaian safe at all? And this one says, from John, says, why was the president so bitter and annoying? Okay, so that one was from John. And let's see if we can go to... Okay, so we've got Francis Safo online from Medina. Hi, Francis. Hello. I yes. can hear you. I can hear you, madam. Yes, hi, Francis. Yeah, I want to contribute to the program. You can go ahead. Yeah, but I want to know if this agreement, if it's, I mean, it ratified this, uh, what the, what this thing, can it be possible? Hello, Francis. Okay, it seems like we lost Francis there. Let's go to Vincent. Hi, Vincent. Do we have Vincent? Vincent, yeah. we don't have Vincent. Let's go yeah, back. Yeah, what I want to say, the president didn't tell us anything at all, but rather he was angry and he saw these people. I think he was the president, but he's the father of the nation. We should come down our head. Mm -hmm. That's our problem. So that was Vincent Appiah from Ho, and I'm going to take one WhatsApp message while the phone, live, the phone calls keep on coming. This is from Frank Sansom, who says, have American soldiers uh, been on our bases? And please, when was the last time has the government of Ghana been investing $20 million in our forces every year? Let's go to Kumase, where Stephen Watting is on. Hello. Hello, Stephen. Hello, you. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I want to contribute to the program. Sure, you can go ahead. All right. In fact, dealing with security issues, we need to be cautious of the way we treat the matter. Looking at the circumstances behind the whole thing, Ghana has history. If 1998, 2003, and then 2015, there has been an issue. It means that there is a history to this. And the government, in its own wisdom, has realized that the whole thing has to be extended, expanded, and he has done so. Apart from all these Kalabalu and other things, I think let us give the man the time. He has the willpower and the zeal to move the country forward. Looking at all over the world, mm -hmm. and looking at the African setting, mm. terrorism and other things, and we need to beef up our security. Kenyans, looking at the global world that we all find ourselves in, mm -hmm. at least knowledge doesn't, one person doesn't have all the knowledge. At times, we need to learn from other areas, and these are the things that the government wants to do to help us to beef up our security. Let us allow him, all those naysayers and other things who have been crying, demonstrating here and there, please, mm -hmm. please, tone down, tone down, tone down, tone down. He put the hypocrisy is too much. Thank you. Thank you, Stephen Boateng from Kumase. Let's go to Akotia, Valanyo Godson. Hi, Valanyo. Yeah, my sister, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? I'm doing well in Akutia here. Uh, yes. You have that, you have that 
the people and uh, people are are not happy with the way these people are. I mean, dealing with this kind of USC and whatever. Am I online, please? Hello. Hello, Valanyo. Can you hear me? Can, can you speak a bit louder? Hello. Yes. Okay, I can hear you now. Uh huh. My picture. I think politicians in Ghana here are joking with our destiny. Mm hmm Because. The argument was signed in 1998 and renewed in 2015. For this one, there's nothing wrong with it. But what about the one, this kind of government, Kufuadu, trying to make it impossible for us to know what is in the dirt? And we are saying, this man is devil. Is that what we are talking about? I'm begging Ghanaians. There's no way the president can beat his heart and so I expect Ghana. In what way? Can Ghana be so just 20,000? Dollars for what reason? Mm -hmm. So I'm praying to all Ghanaians, just bear with him, just bear with him that whatever he's going to do with this American, so far as it's in public domain, what can just I mean bear with him and do the right so that we will have our peace in Ghana here mm -hmm. than to make something whatever, whatever. I mean, join them. You have you have you also you are taking part of this because the the whole thing came from joint effect. Yeah. How to put out was a wrong thing you made so far. Because you're supposed to go into I mean you're supposed to go into details and know what exactly is coming out before you come out with the same this is water, water, water. So mm. we beg you, we beg the media. Yeah. Something this nature. Just take time and put in the right place so that there will be peace in our nation. Thank you very much. Thank you, Valanya Gotten from Aquatia. Let's see if we can take some more WhatsApp messages. And this one is from Richard Osei, who says, please tell the president that there's a difference between UN peacekeeping operations and that of a U.S. gun military agreement. But let's go to Kumase with Samuel Boating on the line. Hello, Samuel. Yeah, hello. Hi. Yeah. Uh, please, I'd like to make a little contribution. You can go ahead. And then, yeah... Um, Joy FM and join you. The, the animation you people are showing, I don't think it represents the part of the matter. You showing uh, the, uh, the, the American flags on the castle, on the, uh, the castle, on the flag staff house, I don't think it's helping. You should just sit down, look into the agreement, and represent the fact to Ghana. That's what we want, not what is good, not what. Uh, will get you attraction or anything. We mm -hmm. just want the fact. Please represent the fact. That's all we want. All right. Thank you, Samuel Watson. Let me let me from. Uh huh. Me, you started showing this thing when the when you said you had intercepted a public document. Yeah. And Hello, Samuel. Okay, it seems like we've lost Samuel Barton there. Thank you so much for your contributions. And let's go to WhatsApp. Uh, this one is from Joseph Inside uh, Bonasur, who says, I congratulate the president for making the deal known to parliament. I'm worried about how minority argue blindly, because what can't they judge them using the past 1998 to 2015, and when they signed the same agreements without making it public. Let's go to Alex. Hello, Alex. Hello. Yeah, madam, Hi. good morning. Good morning, Alex. Uh, how are you doing? I'm fine, thanks. Yeah, my sister, hmm. I, 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 I was shocked. It's better the president never broke up the silence at all. My sister, why am I saying this? You know, I felt threatened when I listened to the, uh, the speech of the president yesterday. And what are we saying? Are Ghanaians going to condone this American base that we're talking about? Mm -hmm. It clearly means that president does not understand what the military base is. Because that word is practical. It's a military word. My sister, how can a president say that we have anti-americans in the country mm. we know what does that mean when the president says we have anti-americans in this country it mm. means that we have some people who are against americans mm, mm, mm. and americans in any country or anybody who are who is anti-american means mm -hmm. the fellow is a terrorist 
So the president is telling us that we have terrorists in this country. So Americans should come and against those terrorists in this country or what? Mm. President should not talk like that because you are the chief commanding officer of the army. And you must protect the citizens of this country. You shouldn't create any enemy between we and the Americans. So definitely the president goofed and we must accept that fact as a country. So I don't see maybe some of the people who are talking didn't listen to the president yesterday. If they listen to the president yesterday, they must not be t talking as the, the, the way they've been talking now. My brother, we said. Okay, thank you, Alex. There. Wow, thank you guys for your calls, your WhatsApp messages, and I'm really sorry we couldn't read all of them. That you were watching Joy News Interactive with me, Mabrita CBD. You know you can stay interactive on Joy News on TV, Facebook, and Twitter. Thank you so much for tuning in. See you next week, same time, same place. Adios.